Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. This is the last video in my biology playlist. Let's have some questions with answers. So, are you ready? Let's get started. If you have watched my previous videos in this playlist, you have a very high probability of answering these right. So please watch my videos in order. Oh, by the way, you can download all of my biology handwritten notes in PDF forms at medicosisperfectionatus.com. Question one, let's go. All of the following release their neurotransmitters onto a nicotinic receptor, except so let's talk about that. Preganglionic sympathetic fibers, well, any preganglionic fibers use nicotinic receptors, especially N sub N. How about postganglionic sympathetic? These ones release norepinephrine onto alpha or beta adrenergic receptors. How about postganglionic parasympathetic fibers, muscarinic receptors? Fibers of the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve supplies the diaphragm, which is a skeletal muscle, so it uses nicotinic sub m how about greater splanchnic nerve fibers that supply the adrenal medulla also nicotinic because the adrenal medulla is treated like a ganglion so for this question only we have two correct answers c and d and here is this famous slide please pause and review Question number two, diseases like creutzfeldt jakob disease, mad cow disease, or spongiform encephalopathy, and kuro are caused by what? Please pause, and the answer is, these are prion diseases. Question three, during the, what, phase of bacterial growth, bacteria adapt to the new conditions? Well, 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 since the bacteria is trying to adapt to the new condition, it's gonna take some time, i.e. it's gonna lag for a while. That's the lag phase. But if the question said, which of the following phases is the one with rapid exponential growth, then the answer would have been the log phase, which stands for logarithmic phase. Question four, the kinetochore fibers interact with the fibers of the spindle apparatus in order to align the chromosomes at the equatorial plate during, and the answer is metaphase. Remember when I told you before, meta with an M, remember mirror with an M. Here's mitosis, here's metaphase. Look at this alignment in the midline. Everything here is an M. It's a mirror image. We are in the midline. Question number five. Which of the following phases provide an explanation to Mendel's first law? Please go. The answer is anaphase one. Here is anaphase one. Do you know what's happening? The two alleles are separating, i.e. segregating into two different gamete cells. Contrast that with Mendel's second law of independent assortment, which is explained by prophase 1, where you have the tetrad and the crossing over. But as for Mendel's first law, it's anaphase 1. Remember the disjunction. Question number 6. Suppose that the frequency of a dominant allele, T, uppercase, in a population is about 70%, or 0.7. Then the frequency of heterozygous dominant genotype, big T, small t, in the same population is, please pause, and the answer is B, 42%. How the flip did you arrive at that number? Easy. If the frequency of the dominant allele is 70% or 0.7, therefore what? That's your P. Your P equals 0.7 which means your Q has to equal 0.3, which is 1 minus 0.7 equals 0.3. Now, what did the question ask about? The frequency of the heterozygous dominant. They want the what? The 2, P, Q. So here is the 2 times P, which is 0.7, times Q, which is 0.3. Guess what the answer is? 42%, which is 0.42. Next, all of the following hormones are secreted by the anterior pituitary, except, and the answer here is oxytocin, because oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone are released by the posterior pituitary, but all the others are released from the anterior pituitary. Please pause and review. Anterior pituitary hormones are here. The posterior pituitary hormones are here. Question 8. Which of the following numbers is the closest to the normal vaginal pH? Let's think about that. You know that the sperm lives in an alkaline fluid made by the prostate gland. You know why? So that it can survive in the acidity 
of the vaginal canal. And why is the vaginal canal acidic? To protect the vaginal canal from bacteria and other organisms. Next, which of the following numbers is the closest to the normal urine pH? Please pause. Let's think about that. Since your metabolism secretes lots of acids, such as pyruvic acid, lactic acid, phosphoric acid, etc., 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 all of these acids, well, we have to deal with them. Otherwise, we will die from acidosis. Who's going to get rid of this excessive acidity? Your kidneys. Your kidney will dump the excessive acidity in the urine, making your urine more acidic than your blood. What's the normal pH of your blood? 7.4, i.e. slightly alkaline. But what's the normal pH of your urine? Between 5 and 7, i.e. acidic. How about the pH in your stomach? Between 1 and 2, very acidic. Question 10. The following diagram is an example of what kind of mutation? Here is before the mutation, and here is the same after the mutation. What the flip was that? The answer is frame shift mutation. We're shifting the frame. Why? Because I lost one T. It's a deletion that led to frame shift mutation. In the good old days, this used to give me leucine and this used to give me proline. But look after the frame shift. This is giving me tyrosine now and this is giving me leucine because I've shifted by one nitrogenous base. If you like this video, you will enjoy my antibiotics course on my website medicosisperfectsnetis.com. I also have a renal physiology course and a brand new surgery high yields course and many other courses and notes including the notes for this lecture and all my biology lectures at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Snailus, where medicine makes perfect sense. We're done with biology. In the next video, we'll talk about biochemistry.